You know summer is approaching when Dolce and Gabbana comes out with a new flanker of light blue. Buongiorno, welcome to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Nora and on this channel we do mostly fragrance reviews but also a little bit of makeup, skincare and lifestyle in general. So if you are interested in these kinds of topics then please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So the new flanker of light blue came out and this year it is called light blue forever. Hmm. And in a nutshell, this is a floral interpretation of the original light blue. And practically, that is it. So, thanks for watching. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yes, in a nutshell, it is a floral interpretation of the original light blue. And to be honest, it's my favorite one till now. So I don't have all of them. I did smell sun that came out in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. I have love. I have a sample of Love is Love and I have the full bottle of light blue own tents and a miniature of the light blue, the original one. So if you are not familiar uh, with light blue, light blue is a cult favorite. It's a best seller of Dolce and & Gabbana and is definitely a stable uh, for people who love aquatic citrusy fragrance. And although it's quite a synthetic fragrance, everybody loves it, men and women of all ages. And the tradition is that each year Dolce & Gabbana comes out with a new flanker. So we have now so many flankers. I'm familiar only with three sun love is love and now forever in the permanent collection you will find the original light blue and the o intense and although i do have the intense version i do prefer the original one but the intense version i have to admit does last longer than the original one. so these are very fresh aquatic citrusy fragrances that don't last very long they are an Eau de Parfum, but they behave like a cologne. So how does the new flanker smell like? When you first spray this fragrance, you will immediately get this beautiful burst of citruses. And in this case, it's Lot Orange, which I adore as a note in fragrances. And I love it in summer. I even prefer it to bergamot, to be honest. And very quickly, you will get the sweet orange blossom. That, not that this is a sweet fragrance. No, it's very fresh, floral, but orange blossom as a note in itself has some sweetness in it. And although I don't like orange blossom, I do like it in this fragrance because of the blood orange, the lemon, and also the green apple note here does help with the sweetness of the orange blossoms that i personally don't like so like the original uh, light blue you will find the lemon and also the beautiful note of green apple which is i think in all of them if i'm not mistaken so mostly the dna of light blue is lemon green apple musk and cedar. This is like the DNA of light blue that I think is in all of the flankers. And with each flanker they tweak it uh, like a little bit. So with sun I think it was coconut, with love is love uh, last year it was a little bit gourmand so they had whipped cream and ice cream in them. Although I did smell some powderiness which I don't know from where it comes but anyway. And in this one we have the orange blossom and also other white flowers. And the good news is that it lasts longer than the original one. I wouldn't say that it lasts so long like the O Intense, although the O Intense is by no means a long-lasting fragrance. But it's very close, let's say. So while the original one had lemon, had green apple and cedar and I think some floral note bell flower or something like that in the top notes. With this one you have the lemon green apple and the added bloody orange which 
is beautiful in the opening. I love it. I really, really love it. In the mid notes, you really notice the difference because in the original one, you have rose, jasmine, and bamboo, while this one, you have orange blossom and other white florals. To be honest, I don't get any, I just get orange blossom, but on Fragrantica, they say they have white florals. In the original one, you have again the cedar, musk and amber, and here you have the cedar, the musk and cashmere and wood. So as you can see, a part of the blood orange and the orange flower, uh, they are almost identical. And I would say that the star of the show uh, from forever is the orange blossom, the blood orange. Mm, beautiful. You get only in the opening and I have to say it's a very good blood orange. I wished it will last till the dry down but unfortunately it does not. So overall I really really like this fragrance especially that I find that the longevity and sillage are better than the original one. Is it my absolute favorite flanker? No, but that is maybe because I am biased. I don't like orange blossom, but I would see that this one would be a favorite of a lot of people because orange blossom is a note that I noticed that is mass pleasing and a lot of people love it. I'm in the minority here. Still, my favorite one of all of the flankers is the original one, the Eau de Toilette, at which I will rebuy when I finish the Eau Intense uh, version. So to whom would I recommend this fragrance? Of course, for um, orange blossom lovers out there and for someone who loves the original light blue and also loves floral notes and wants a little bit amped up longevity and sillage, then check light blue forever. I did hear that the uh, men version, because they come out always with the flanker for, for women and for men, that the men version has a more persistent blood orange uh, note, so I will definitely check that out, especially that I don't mind wearing actually men fragrances when they are, especially when they are fresh. And now I just realized that I talked about longevity and sillage and I didn't tell you how how many hours it stayed on my skin. This stayed on my skin for about three, three hours and a half. And I did smell myself. Of course, it will not leave like a scent trail, but you will smell yourself, especially when you remove your arm, you will get a whiff of the fragrance. I find them quite similar in terms of longevity, but sillage, I would say this performs better than the intense version. So overall, I really like this new release from Light Blue and I would recommend it uh, for light blue lovers out there, especially for orange blossom lovers. So that was my take on uh, the new flanker of Light Blue, Light Blue Forever. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. See you next time. Ciao.